about a soda and weed now. All right. I said whatever. Jimmy, you got a soda? We're visiting yeah, Jimmy. That's what I'm I want to do just a little, sort of like we used to do the meetings. I haven't had Matt and uh, Stephen with me in a while. When we were doing the meetings a few years ago, driving to a lot of different places, I used to have Matt and Stephen. They were uh, when we were driving over to Jimmy's just now. They were remembering. How we did those little drives. You're, you're Jimmy is uh, still got his nice apartment, and that's why I said we'll we'll maybe talk a little bit. You know, now I was telling Jimmy, you you all have already seen it because I mentioned it on the video that I uploaded today. But Jimmy said, you know, if I give some money to the church or I give some money, it'll come back to me. When I was in uh, New Jersey. There's an atheist friend of mine. His name is Danny. That's Matt. That's Jimmy. And Stephen's coming back. But the atheist friend of mine, he gave me some beautiful paintings. They have not seen them, but you guys have seen the paintings on the video. And then when he gave me those paintings, he said, you know, God, he, he didn't say God's going to bless me. He said, but I'm going to get blessed because I'm giving you something. Now, the man has money. His name is Danny. Yeah. The next day, he got a letter from the IRS <laughs> where he owed he owed money, you know. Oh, he, he subtracted. They they Level. cut the bill down eight hundred a month less. Wow. So he was telling me I just saved eight hundred a month, you know, like income. He forgot that he said the day before, if I give you these paintings, I'm going to get blessed, and he did get blessed. Yeah, well, so, I, I'm not talking about giving something to his friends. Now that's, now, that's Stephen. Stephen, say hi. What's up, everybody? That's um, what I'm talking about. Not what I'm talking about. Remember, I'm not talking about good deeds. Yes, good deeds as well. I'm not, well, I'm not talking about good deeds. I'm yes. talking about doing, doing commandments. Yes. And the gifts that are attached to those commandments. Talk. Okay, well. Teach. You're on uh, video. No, be just, good. just ask, I just ask the question. You know, at least that's how I understand it. Yes. And uh, I've, I've uh, tried to make deals with God before. Not pay so much taxes. And I hear a voice and, yeah, we can fix that. Next week, they fix it. <laughs> I got fired. And I got laid off or whatever. I got Next job, next job, the next check, next check. It was exactly what I paid the last time. I was talking to Brother Dave. Did you, did you hear what I said? Correct. It was exactly. Yes, I remember you telling now, me that. Now, what my question is, is, you don't really, I mean, he cares, he prefers, he likes this one more than that one, but it's all by God's design. Yeah. Yeah, right. You know what, okay, now, listen. I, I read Romans chapter 9. <laughs> can't be talking too much about this. Right? You know what? You know what Romans chapter 9 said? I, I could go do the little thing right now. Last night I was praying and I was getting mad. I was getting mad and I was going to make a video. Not real bad, but I was going to complain. And this is what I was mad about. This is what I got mad about. I, some of the friends of mine, the atheist friend... Not mad at him, but they said, John, look at all these things that happen. Look at all these things that happen, and why do all these things happen? And as I was uh, doing my reading of the Bible last night, I was going to stop reading, and I was going to make a quick video. And I was going to say on the video, a lot of people have questions. And what I was going to talk about was, look at all my friends, or look at all the people that go to a lot of things in their life, and their whole life is struggle, whether my friends relapse, I got I just passed my three year sober date, January third. I said, but what about all of the struggles that people have their whole life, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I was getting angry and I was gonna say, It doesn't really make any sense to me. You know, and I was gonna complain. Well, I felt the Lord said, No, read the chapter you're gonna read, the few chapters. And I read Romans 9. And you know what it said in Romans 9? Who are you to question God? Cannot God make out of the same piece of clay uh, a pot that is good and a pot that is not good? Now, in Romans 9, and, and the reason I thought I'd mention this is because you were just talking a little bit about that. So as I read that chapter, it basically said, there's a lot of questions we have. And I was and I was thinking of some of the 
protests that my friends have against God. And I said, these are questions that are not always answered right. You know, why does a person have to be born, uh, maybe his mother was using, and now that kid that's born, he's going to be addicted, no fault of his own, and some of them later on in life become full-blown addicts. And I, I, I was complaining of things in my own mind Those are curses that, that I felt were unjust. But then I read the chapter, it was Romans 9, and, it's, and Romans 9 basically says, there are things, I, God says, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will pick who I decide to pick. And then I, my perspective changed in this. I said, you know, I've got friends in jail right now, friends that are dead. I'm not in jail, I'm not dead. We all have friends that are in jail, because I was just mentioning one on the way over here. Yeah, my friend Shrek had, went back to jail. <coughs> who was in the meetings last year. So, it changed my perspective. Matt, give us a word. Say something. Trust in the Lord and be faithful. Peace. God bless. Okay, Matt was in a lot of the meetings. Matt went to a lot of the meetings. Stephen, what do you think? To be honest about life. You know, to where are you at? Do you have, were you feeling, were you feeling a little bit about what I was saying? Like, pissed off? Like, why the hell is this cycle you know, of well, whether... I was in the other... I was in Austin. 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 I was over. I was in Austin. 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 I I, I actually won't go man. I, I can't stop. No, I actually no, I, 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 I'm going to get my, 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 my crap right. What is it? No. Stephen, when he was with me last year and we were all getting together, this is the first day I've been with Stephen and Matt together in a long time. I, you've seen a lot of the other people. But he was going to start over, go up to Austin, make a change. And he did go for a while. Then when he wound up coming back, a, after all this time, hopefully he was hoping things were going to change. And today he was telling me, Sort of like back in the same feeling like I'm going to wind up, you know, dying in the street here. And I had another friend that told me the same thing today, uh, who I invited to come over, but it probably would have been better if he didn't come over because some of my friends have conflicts. But uh, that's what Stephen was sharing. Jimmy? It's just us. I just wanted to do an update. That's. Yes. I just want to do a little update. And uh, now, Sw Jimmy Sweet Pea, when I was gone, she but she was giving you some instruction about you know how some of the things that you learned as Mormon did not yeah, jive. Yeah, it didn't jive with the with the with the Bible. Okay. And, uh, I gotta get, I gotta dig into this. I, I need to I need to get a, um, a recorder yeah. or get an app. I need to get a new phone. I need to get a new phone. And get an app so I can hear it. I used I used to have one on my old phone. Now, when I, when I brought Matt, I went to Timmins today, which is the mission. But I told Matt and Stephen, I said, come on over and visit Jimmy. I said, Jimmy's got an apartment. I said, what he does sometimes is he helps guys that are on the street. Now, both Stephen and Matt are on the street. A lot of my friends have been homeless. Jimmy has been homeless. A lot of them have been homeless. Then periods of time where they might have an apartment. Sometimes they're back on the street. And uh, so I said, come over today. I said, maybe Jimmy will let you crash out for a night. I said, it's up to him. Sometimes he does stuff like that. So now I've got it on I video. Mind. I tell everybody they can't get on the, they can't get on the, I can't put them on the, on the, um, on the lease. Yeah. The best thing I can do is, is give them some help, you know, yeah. nurturing and support. You know, I've been here, I've come, come, I've come to visit night. Jimmy a few times. He cooks food for, I don't eat. But he'll have breakfast ready. He'll have food for everybody. These are people that he yes, helps. That he just lets them crash out here. So he's making an attempt. Okay, we're gonna. Do, it's no, gonna guys, be short. Hey, I want to tell you something. Yes. In my life, I've had three houses where I tore the door completely off. Open. The, anybody I tore can it walk off. in. I took the door off. I don't give a damn. Yeah. I figure if anybody's got enough balls to come to my house. Who I'll gave you that? Who gave? Put the. You, you know, you're not in your... Put the hat on. You're not in the regular... you got to have, you gotta have the look. Okay, I'm sorry. Who I'm gave sorry. you that? Who gave you that hat? 
He yeah. likes it. He's been I wearing it. I've seen that hat, yeah. I'm all over the damn place. He says people recognize him oh, when yeah. he's got that hat. Yeah, and the glasses, you know, it's like, I've seen him before. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Let me ask you guys this. I have my three years that I just, a little no, over three no, years. No, no. Me, did I tell you about that little Mexican lady on the bus? What happened? On the bus. The little Mexican lady, I, about, uh, she, she said, Jimmy D, I was on the 15th coming back here. And this was been, this, this was just cool, we, about a month ago. But, uh, there's no Mexican lady. She says, Jimmy D. And I tell her, I said, yes, ma'am, do I know you? And she said, you don't remember me, do you? And I said, no, ma'am. And uh, she said, I stayed at your 925 for months, and you never charged me a cent, man. And now I got my own house, and I got my case, and I'm going to get you, you let her stay. You put yeah, her up in the pants. Right yeah. Through. yeah. I remember Angel told me the same thing, that there were times where well, uh, there's tons they let you stay. I mean, I couldn't even get a place, man. Fuck the people post them in my building. Yes. Now, let me ask you guys I this. I go buy food. Let me ask you guys this. Today, I also talked to a few people that sometimes they go to the Charlie's Detox, which I've used with some of my friends. I've taken them, dropped them off, picked them up. Uh, and then, what, give me, most, I think all of you have been through trolleys. Mm -hmm. uh, all, okay, all of you have been through trolleys. Normally when you do the 30 days, mm -hmm. and then sometimes you get into residential, they let you stay. Mm -hmm. Now they do six days. What happens though, let me ask six you Six days, and, they, and then you get booted out for about a week, and then uh, you go in for 30 to 45 days. Now, after you get the few, really after you get the few months where everything's going well, you got the clean time, and then things happen. What would you say is the biggest reason for relapse after people go through? I've never been through Charlie's, but I have had a lot of friends that have gone, and they get their hopes up because they get some clean time. Then later, they lose because the clean time. The what, what would be the reality? Big, sucks. What would be the biggest? <laughs> Well, but what about, isn't it hard, though, when you're out and you're basically on the street, homeless? You give up hope. Okay. A lot of people give up hope. Okay. Stephen, when you did the Charlies and you were doing well, it's just sooner or later. Last time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me ask over. I was standing by the right? And I was standing by the We'll show you the camera and we're partying. Yeah. I gave him my pipe. I'm done. No, bro. Okay. He helped me that, so I was telling the with him, and then I went to the sober house where I had one holes, remember? Yes. And then, well, she came back in my life, and I was doing good. Tell me the name's sober, it's bad. It's not how I knew. Okay. Okay. Well, but I have been all on her, and I can't, not her body high. Because the drama and the stress. Yeah, that's sweet. You okay. Know and relationships, yeah, relationships. Relationships. They made me eat for that. Give the last advice, and I'm going to share well, it with you. I, I was just... So about that you can help. Well, I don't know if it'll help or not, but um, just a, an observation. Yes, that's what I'm asking. Um, that, about three years ago, some of my buddies, one of my buddies, a particular buddy, came up to me pretty hard. Um, big, big offer. <laughs> and, I, and I denied it because I didn't have enough information. I denied it for, for certain reasons. But, you know, everybody, where the hell is everybody? <laughs> and uh, they're in jail, okay? So... I didn't know who was dropping the ball. Somebody was messing up with all my boys. And I didn't want to mess with it. I made a bad decision because I didn't have all the facts. Turns out, four years later, after my boy gets out of prison, he tells me. Oh, what you can't. Happened. I don't want you to give him too much information on it. It was all their women. Each one of them was a woman. Okay. Okay. Just to have power okay. or him. You know? Relationship. Yes. Okay. And if I took that, oh my God. We've been in a brick house right now. Yeah. For real, okay? I should have kept, I should have did that good job. I didn't. No. I didn't know the facts. Don't talk too much about you. I was just talking to you. the tail, and it was like, it was, oh, it was forget every it. one of you. Just mention the names. I don't want them doing that. And that, then, but, the situation. but, uh, I have learned just from the experiences that the relationship issue, a lot of my well, friends well, that really, well, the relationship, yes, the relationship issue is like a major thing. I learned that from the reason I didn't go is because at that time I was didn't have a woman. Yes, but we don't want to blame it on that. I'm just saying. Really? But that did come up. That I'm did come up. Everyone I went to prison because they're fucking girls. 
Well, Matt's situation actually, uh, I remember yeah, Matt had him a girl, but I don't think that was the big key. But sometimes when the guys do the, the detox, they go through the program, a lot of times they get out and these guys that are on the screen, it's very hard. It's a power struggle. Okay. Colonel, step back. John, can you stay with him? And you're hurting your job. I'm going to end the video. I just wanted you to get a quick update. No, I, they, they did share they some good things. It's real life stuff. And that's it. God bless you all. We'll do another one soon. That was it. Just